Good evening, everyone. System Shock here with hopefully the 39th episode, sorry if I got that wrong, of Cultus Simulator, uh, the bright young thing legacy playing as David Ellison. We have expanded our horizons as far as texts that we can work with. We are also uh, continuing to sort of ransack vaults. Uh, we didn't get a Caligine. We had to we had to do away with it, but uh, there could be worse worse fates. But let's uh, work on the Furious tra Tantra first. So, as later transcribed by the median, sorry, medium and pyrotechnician Jacob Oliver Top Mugglestone, tradition has it that he found it seared in the bark of an oak by lightning. Lock the study door. The work begins. We have a bit to get through in terms of in terms of the different tasks. Okay, that solar lamp will help us with the summoning. In sleep, I ran my fingers along the ridged edges of the stag door's scars. Our company it was that shattered it, Gerby says suddenly. Before the gods who were flesh, the mansus was forbidden to mortals. We were the first no. He begins again to weep his molten tears. I wish that we had not. I wish that I had died in the world. I've forgotten what else he said, but I remember the shape of the fissures in the stag door, and for all of today, doors will fear my touch. Now, the reason we went through uh, the stag door was so that we could get something for summoning a Caligine. We've accomplished that, so we're just going to wait a little while until the next step. And my recent work has drawn some attention. Something should sell. Now, we are we don't have to worry about the staleness anymore. The drawback is, is that we don't have much reputation left to um, to work, kind of work our... Um, uh, to, sorry, we don't have that much reputation left to work with uh, what we would normally want. So I'm going to start with the sunset, right? So here we've got the knock. In this case, we'll add the Calidate Invocation. And I've actually used up all my moth, or so my winter followers. So we may not actually be able to do this. Uh, let's try it with Tristan. Yes, not enough forge. So there are still options available to us. So let's go and try the right of the map's edge. This still uses influence. But in this case, we can take the Calidate Invocation and we can use one of our winter uh, instruments. So forge for the smoky spirit, summoning winter for its binding. It must know who will rule it. This, of course, means that there's not going to be much evidence uh, to kind of get after us uh, for the next little while, but that's not a terrible place to be. I've drunk the light of their mind. It thrills and fills me. The marks uh, brighten. And I'm certain that my adversary has lodged a copy of their notes elsewhere, with their solicitor, with their superior, or even with a contact in the press. This is troubling. So we will deal with the tentative evidence, but I have a few other things I want to get through first. The dead draw back. Their almost faces flat and watchful. They will not trouble us. Okay, Season of Vision's coming up. We don't have any fascination, so we'll be fine as long as we mind our manners. Some days are better than others. Sometimes the sky is nothing like a filthy sheet. Sometimes the river runs clear. And my minion is returned, attended by a prisoner, rendered docile with delight. And a little extra money to boot. Okay. Let's... I think we repair the mirror first. We can begin to repair this, but it will take at least a bronze spintra to purchase the necessary materials. And the expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can add funds now, or I can send another follower. So this is just for land rock. We don't really need to add anything else. And we have translated the Furious Tantra. Uh, in this case, it's the same text. The Tantra describes the uses and dangers of anger. It cautions that anger does not always survive transformations. Not all the Forge's children are bright. Its offcuts and its bastards gather in the bounds like hammer scale in the cracks of a smithy floor. Here comes one now. So I could use the Subtle Fracture for another summoning, but I don't really need to do that right now. We're just adding the Caligine to the expedition because it lets us, um, it lets us preserve it. We know that the repair is going to be done for a while. So, 
I think because we have the passion, let's try and get some of these, uh, let's try and get some of these paintings done. So I think in this case, I'm just going to do it in order. So the Byzantine tank is a, uh, is a knock, um, sorry, is a knock pigment. So we'll start, oops. I think we'll just do it in order. I don't have a particular need for one, one type of painting over another. Those who know will understand, as will the Suppression Bureau. I guess I could have used the subtle fracture as well. It's worth the same as the Menescate. Oh, sorry, the Menescate Invocation is worth eight. Once the mirror is taken care of, then we can go back to the Peacock Door, but or Peacock Store. I, I don't quite see the the need to rush on that though. I could spend money on paints, or perhaps I could find more exotic pigments. All that I am is here. My follower needs a bronze spintra or better to complete their task. Sooner or later, this canvas will be slashed, but its color will only grow richer. I made something unique, something extraordinary, something I will never dare to exhibit publicly. The full moon appears. Oh, sorry, a full moon appears. Creatures are reborn, and even a lizard should not be slain, for it could be you. We have the right of the rebels driving, a series of mystic exercises that requires both dedication and terror. And we have the operation of the labite, which is an earlier edge uh, lore that we had. A series of mystic exercises that requires both dedication and terror. Wait a minute. Obviously, I read one of these wrong. Rite of Rebel Striving. This rite enacts a teaching of the Forge of Days. The artisan may achieve their highest goal only by destroying their most precious tool. The lionsmith knew this when he shattered his sword before the colonel, so my assistant must destroy a chosen instrument. On to the, a true and sh uh, accurate, sorry, a true and accurate history of the Shadowless Kings, Isaac of Karth's history of the Shadowless Empire. At the study door, the work begins. I made something unique, something... Oh, sorry, we've read that before, so I'm just going to collect. The mother of ants, even in the days of Elam, she had uh, begun to appear thus. Now, we can't uh, follow up with another painting right away. We don't have the passion for it, but we can do a commission. Of course, I could actually... Sorry, better still, I can uh, do a reputation painting now. Excuse me one second. You never know, this might be a living. Mirror is repaired, it shines again as it did once before. Excuse me. So we head back to the peacock store with the wildering mirror. The peacock store reflects the mirror I hold in my sleep, and the mirror reflects the peacock's door. Already a sensuous shiver ripples its surface. It aches for fracture, and when it finds that satisfaction, I will enter. So we've got the hapless prisoner. Uh, we don't have a repairment uh, to do. So we can send Saliba out again, I suppose. Uh, I could also send... I could send Enid out for some money, but in this case, let's bring, let's get Saliba to uh, seduce a stranger. A sufficiently persuasive disciple can probably lure a susceptible companion back to us. And we'll spend for the paints. This is something we're going to try and make money off of. We're doing okay money-wise, but, it, you know, for, uh, for notoriety is a good opportunity. Mirrors are calm, the sun is steady, the glory recedes. I'm saying if that means anything. My recent work is celebrated. My name is well known and my work has done well. So we did get some staleness off of that, but that was expected. Five is a really good return for a, uh, for a painting. And 
We're not quite ready with the passion yet, so let's do some of the let's do some of the other works. This may be useful for a commission. The empty tomb. Here is the Voivode's mausoleum. Swag cobwebs hang like soft gray drapes. A great sandstone sarcophagus sand stands upright at the far end. It's empty. Prepared the text for study. Uh, yes, it is new text. So, A True and Accurate History of the Shadowless Kings by Isaac of Carth. Isaac describes the thousand year ascendancy of the Shadowless Empire. The first and greatest history is described herein. The Persian Empire, the sons of uh, Ach Achaemenes, uh, the shadowless kings, the most glorious empire, survives the assaults of Alexander the Great and flourishes as late as the 5th century. We'll do the, uh, we'll do the grail painting immediately afterwards. Okay, well, we definitely don't want the fascination. So the question is, can we, do we want to risk the Worm Museum or do we go to the Red Church? In this case, I think I'm going to try the Worm Museum. And we did wind up with dread trouble. All right, I dreamt last night of the Worm Museum. The hours have set wards about it and warnings before it, but they have left it open to mortal adepts who can prove themselves by reaching it. Perhaps they hope to inspire revulsion against the things that bred in the corpse of the sun. Those things are here still, always dying, never dead. They came from nowhere, the warnings say, and if they complete their work, the Mansus will be no nowhere one day. And I believe we have a season of ardors coming up, so I'll have a contentment to get rid of it if there if there I have any worries. But of course, we'll want to repair the mirror uh, before too long. So we leave the tomb slot open for now. Out in the night, my followers whispering words that sometimes they might mean. Even if their victim knows the words are lies, they may not care. Someone has left a little heap of treasures before the sarcophagus, like an offering. There are no footprints in the dust. Whoever left them came here long ago, or else has no need to touch the ground when they pass. So, uh, we've got the 26 enticements, 7 torments, the wakeful tympanum. In the grove where they flayed the thunder, they rattled their instruments to rouse the frenzy. The power still clings like scent. Gospel of Zacchaeus. Book of Thrones. So this is in Frisian, so we can't work with that yet. A catalog of uncharted pleasures. Again, another one that we can't work with. And I cannot imagine why you'd find an urgency of appetite here. Some mysteries may never be answered. Um, it's difficult to control oneself. Okay, uh, we do have the uh, we do have the money to be able to do another another expedition. So we'll head to the Cave of Candles. At some point, I am going to need to. Um, at some point, I'm going to need to uh, find the new location. Actually, while I'm at it. We'd lose, yeah, uh, this makes it a little hard. So I was going to try and look for other locations, but we would lose the Percussigant if we do that. So I'm going to keep the Caligene to destroy the evidence, but we are going to follow up on the Cave of Candles. Every seventh sunset, the cunning man comes from the village below to renew the candles. The floor uh, of the entrance chamber is slick of stinking wax. He claims the light keeps the creature below cowed, but more likely the sacrifices he brings keep it too sated to emerge. The ascent to the cave through the high passes will be dangerous. Whatever waits in the darkness below is probably more dangerous still. So we're probably going to have to add maybe a couple of forge followers um, before before too long. But again, I'll I'll see what comes up when the um, when we when we see what the the tasks are. Okay, season of suspicion coming up, so even more reason to destroy the evidence. Some days are better than others. Sometimes the sky is nothing like a filthy sheet. Sometimes the river runs clear. So here we'll tranquilize the dread. I remember I was different before. And we do need to expect uh, evidence coming out. There's no way that this notoriety is going to go away in time. So the minion is returned, attended by a prisoner rendered docile with delight. 
So there's a few things to do with talk, but obviously the evidence has become a much higher priority, so we'll send a devious minion to destroy evidence. My scheme will most likely succeed. There is always a chance that something will go awry. And my own heart pumps more strongly today. That's a good day's work. Um, I'm wondering whether or not I want to do another, another painting. Well, we did say, I mean, evident, the evidence is going to be generated one way or the other, so let's just um, we'll make the most of the opportunity. And in this case, we're going to do the grail painting. This should have an impact. The expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can add funds now or I can send another follower. So this is Forge or Winter. After the fall of Rome, the Shadowless Empire takes Byzantium under its wing and moves east against the land of the Great River. Isaac begins to recount the invasion, struggling against the unskinned armies of the Hooded Serpents, but ends abruptly with a series of incantations that he claims allowed the Shadowless Empire to persist. So we have the Formula Vigilant, and of course it would be very strange to see a text with so much detail about a history, and so we've got an unresolved ambiguity for our efforts as well. Let's translate the ivory book. Now, this is the sort of thing we would want to be careful about for dread, but as long as we don't have any dread events coming up, we should be able, to, we should be fine. Um, and we did read this already. So. Let's spend money on better paints, or I could find more exotic pigments. Madrigard is strong in winter. Probably she will keep us from avalanches. Call upon the Madrigard who cannot be unbalanced. The Howard called the Madrigard is at home in the cold. She will almost certainly keep us from falling. So we know the evidence will be picked up before the uh, investigation. Now it's not Wakefield this time, so we're a little bit safer. The sun still moves, the wind still walks. My journals are the lab. And in this case, we don't really have that much to follow up on, so we'll just leave the dream slot open. I made something unique, something extraordinary, something I will never dare exhibit publicly. So more notoriety. Again, we know that's gonna that we're gonna be affected by that no matter what. Got another urgency of appetite. Appetite. The Red Grail. She did not split the sun, but here we might imagine how she must have desired it. if I get any dread and another glimmering so we'll work on our commissions again so this is going to be a substantial commission on the secret histories which requires reason and this is more about getting the spintra but um, it's also just something that lets me recharge the passion so my minion has not returned they have failed and their blundering may have attracted attention so the Caligine is no more and we do kind of want to get the well, the evidence might actually get picked up before we can work with it, but either way, we'll send Yuzabet to pick up the tentative evidence and hope for the best. A manual of the Order Limea, an order of quasi-immortals who maintained a secret enclave at the source of the River Limia in the Roman province of Hispania Gallicaea. This manual was compiled by one Curanae, who claims to have fred fled the tyranny of the Chrysanthemum throne to cross the world and join the Ordo. Members of the Ordo took an oath, the ivory chain, not to have commerce with the hours. Followed literally, this would be almost impossible for an adept, so the manual contains numerous clarifications, exceptions, and processes of indulgence. So we'll still be fine with the dread be, or the um, evidence because they'll be working on on the destruction in, in time. And rock slides and avalanches drive us back. We'll try another route if we survive. So there's nothing to add right now. Uh, well, eventually we'll add. Um, eventually we'll add Neville.
finish the manuscripts. And we have my passion, so we carry on with the next painting. In this case, a moth painting. As you know, we'll understand, as will the Suppression Bureau. I await word. Minion is returned. The evidence has been destroyed. I'm a little safer. So let's turn in the manuscripts. I have what Poppy requested. Kuranai describes the Order's burial rites, which include spells to ensure, in theory, that the souls of the dead uh, of dead long are not given to the hours. The hour called the Ivory Dove, who memorializes and commemorates, is to be invoked in secret in these rites. For that hour, with that hour, we have made an understanding. This is, of course, one that we've read before, so I wasn't as worried about the, um, the dread this time around. Let's read Sunset Passages, a holy text of the Church of the Unconquered Sun, which in many histories was driven underground. Lock the study door, the work begins. Colors of the Night, we will take the piebald pigment. Receive the currency of the secret world, and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. We have more notoriety than we know what to do with right now, but again, that was sort of by design. It's not that I want it to be this way, but I do want to get these paintings done. And what the doctor requested. Let's I suppose it doesn't really matter that the season of uh, despair is up anyway, because we've got the. Um, Uh, it's going to be gone before we finish the work. Oh, but then that's not true for the... Um, that wasn't true for the, the text that I just read. But yeah, again, it's one that we've read before. I believe that's actually where we got uh, the invocation of the Ivory Dove uh, in the first place. So, uh, moving on. I guess we... It's with the talk verb. I could try and anticipate the evidence... I was thinking of taking, yeah, taking Cat Carol for a date. It might be straight, Street Strange by Moonlight. I'm guessing the Mithraeum doesn't help. Oroflans is fun. Yeah, so I don't have a way of getting Street Strange by Moonlight. Well, we can do, um, we can use, yeah, at least use the Mirror of Glory. My seer can determine times and places where power will be available for our uses. There is a small risk. Wolf we'll Despair prowls elsewhere. It's over for now. Cross guard and shivering, we've made it through the mountains. So I do need to get my health. All right, I'm certain that my adversary has lodged a copy of their notes elsewhere, with their solicitor, with their superior, or even with a contact in the press. This is trouble. Okay, this will turn into restlessness at some point, but we do have the work that I wanted. So the moth in the forest of the first continent, our ancestors cursed themselves with their own god. We have three more paintings to do in this uh, vein, but the first thing we will be taking care of is another commission. Uh, sunset Passages, a miscellany of funerary prayers, ceremonies, and hymns of the Church of the Unconquered Sun, which was ascendant in the Third and Fourth Histories. It sismed during the Intercalate, when the sun was divided, and has not survived as a significant force. 
The church revered the sun in splendor before it was divided, but even while it was still whole, its later selves were recognized as its names. The Madrigard, of course, presided over the death and passage into the house. The serpent's mouth is large enough to crouch in, its tongue is the thickness of a man's shoulders, but almost certainly it will respect the power we bear. Hours of scholarship and meditation. Okay, we still need to work on health, so I probably should have been trying with the white door, to be honest. We can always use money, but we are getting a little short on cash. Finish the manuscripts. As you know, we'll understand, as will the Suppression Bureau. The serpent sorrow, it lowers its great head, moisture seeps from its lidless eyes. Is it weeping? What does it remember of its eldest sister, whose power we call upon? And my follower has found one or more way to align our work with the greater work of the hours. So we've got a rousing air and erudition. Not what I need right now. So uh, let's turn in the commissions. I have what was requested. I should have uh, got the mirror repaired, actually. Well, then again, I was trying to date um, Kat Caro, so. The white ceremony was speaking to, spoken to honor the Madrigard at funerals held in the chilly space before dawn. The text cautions that all blades should remain sheathed while the ceremony is spoken, lest the corpse not be quiet. So the white ceremony, uh, when I speak it, my lips don't crisp with frost. Each time, this is surprising. We move on, and this is going to be the first vac text that we read. In the mountains as upon the plain, there may not be a path where none has passed. A work by Nangala of Lagash. Study door, the work begins. Take the bitter of salts. All right, I receive the currency of the secret world, and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. We'll talk with Poppy about a commission. And treasures lie before us. Our expedition lands for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can have funds now, or I can send another follower, or I can do nothing. Poppy would like winter, although I keep neglecting the. Um, to read the text, so the doctor would like help with his research. A secret histories commission. So we have a we have a hapless prisoner in reserve. There's not really a worry there. Um, now, talk-wise, I guess I could talk with a heart follower to get rid of some reputation, but reputation's how I make money. So let's say... Okay, this is going to close options for me later, but let's get Tristan to work on that mirror. I can begin to repair this, but it will take at least a bronze spin truck to purchase the necessary materials. And we'll try the Orchard of Lights. Right, so I'm going to have a bunch of fascination, restlessness, dread to deal with. Um, but we'll, we'll work with that when we... Uh, we'll work with that when the time comes. The invisible arts, Christopher Lopoli is said to have remarked, are as profitable as macrame, as ethical as tobacco smuggling, and in general as beneficial as roulette. Still, there is always the Orchard of Lights, and indeed the orchard, with its glowing fruit and peaceful mists, is a place to be yearned for. Last night, I walked there in the peaceful hours of the deep night. Even after waking, I still carry with me a little of the glory of the old sun. I think I can afford to use some passion, so let's try going to the wood. 
When I pass between scarbark trees, the moon passes behind branches, though her fingers remain in my hair. I'm stumbling over roots now. It is tempting to drop to all fours to avoid the low branches. Pale wings move deep in the night. And here we have the Forge of Days. I'm gonna break a rule. So obviously we don't have the passion for a proper like for a reputation painting, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to or to uh, get rid of the staleness. I am going to risk generating more staleness, but this is mostly to get rid of the restlessness. So I'm expecting that the re uh, staleness will go up as a result of this, but I, I do want to get it out of the way. And I think actually on that note, we will leave it be. So I've got a couple of plans about uh, what I'm going to do with the Explore Verb because of the lack of funds. Um, but we will save all of that for the next cast, which should be Fridays. And that can, um, I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it then. I'm probably going to need to take a break between now and that episode, though. So hopefully I remember what I had in mind. In any case, as always, thank you very much for watching. I will be back, assuming I've got my days right. I will be back tomorrow with uh, an episode to close out the week. Take care until then.